In this picture is an oil storage depot at Buntsfield which caught fire. The fire burned for several days and smoke covered a large part of South East England. The black smoke shows that the fuel was not burning completely. When a hydrocarbon fuel burns with as much oxygen as it needs, it produces only carbon dioxide and water. However, sometimes a burning fuel may not have enough oxygen. In this case, incomplete combustion occurs. The hydrogen atoms form water, but there is not enough oxygen for all of the carbon atoms to form carbon dioxide. Some of the carbon may form carbon monoxide, and some may just form solid particles of carbon, or soot. The word equations show what can happen if methane burns without enough oxygen. Methane plus oxygen goes to carbon and water. Methane plus oxygen goes to carbon monoxide and water. Methane plus oxygen goes to a mixture of carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, carbon and water. Different percentages of carbon, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide are produced depending on the amount of oxygen available. The carbon appears as tiny particles that you can see as black smoke in a bonfire. The yellow colour of a flame in this diagram is caused by the hot carbon particles glowing. The soot produced by faulty gas fires or boilers makes marks on the walls of the room. Carbon monoxide is an odourless, colourless, toxic gas. It reduces the amount of oxygen that can be carried around the body in the blood. Around 40 people die each year in the UK from carbon monoxide poisoning due to a faulty gas boiler or fire. Hundreds more have to be taken to hospital. The diagram shows just one way in which this can happen. Carbon monoxide is also produced by car engines. Harm from carbon monoxide in our homes can be reduced by making sure that all fuel burning appliances are serviced regularly and fitting homes with carbon monoxide detectors to warn people if an appliance has stopped working properly. Soot produced in appliances such as boilers can clog up the pipes carrying the waste gases away. It can even cause fires in chimneys if enough builds up. Soot is also produced by vehicles, especially vehicles that use diesel fuel. Small particles of soot can collect in the lungs when people breathe in sooty air, and this can cause lung diseases. Soot also makes buildings dirty.